you're on. Uh, awesome. All right, so the so welcome everybody. It was so nice. I, I'm sure, like me, you enjoyed getting to know the team, right? It's it's just nice to put names with faces, and I know with the advent of social media, there's not really any detail we can't learn about each other just by doing a little bit of research. Um, although you don't learn things like he has four tattoos, that's something you don't learn on social media. Although actually, I've seen the one you've posted I've the one. Them all up. <laughs> Um, so I'm kind of a rare bird of that. That's all right. We love that about it. I've got tattoos. <laughs> so we're gonna the very first topic we're gonna cut. I'm gonna cover is we're gonna talk about the value proposition for Wake Up Now because it's been an evolutionary process for me over the last um, three months to migrate really to where I felt like not only could I speak to the value proposition, but that I was living the value proposition. And so I'd like to just share some of the points that I have gathered over the, the, um, the last couple of months as this has really started to evolve in, in my mind. So the first thing I want to talk about is some of you, many of you, have done other relationship marketing companies in the past. Yes or yes? Yes. <laughs> so you've got some type of experience already working with a particular company. And many of those companies were product-based companies. So you were buying a product. And there's pros and cons to both. And I'm not here to debate. It's better to be in services. It's better to be in product. It's actually better to have a mix because then you service all the clientele, those that like physical products and those that like virtual products and or services, right? So <clears throat> Wake Up Now has a diverse value proposition. You can build a complete business, if you so desired, around a physical product. You could build it around coffee. Organ Organo Gold has done that. You could build it around the energy drinks. Lana V has done that. You could build it around uh, skincare. Clearly, Miriam went from zero to 100 million in sales in their first year and a half. So, you could certainly build it around that if you so desire. So, we do have a physical product approach. Those are in our category called select products. But then we also have the virtual products or the services side. Now, clearly, companies have been successful around building businesses around the services. So a company that I helped start, a company called Viridian Energy, we went from zero to 205 million in two years, and we sold energy. Green energy at a discount, that was our value proposition. So clearly selling a virtual product like that, I mean, it's not virtual, but it's not tangible, right? So clearly there's success in that realm. When we started the company that shall not be named, we did it in a, a mobile value proposition. So in fact, let's just land on that for a second. Here's what I want you to take away from this. In a standard traditional company in direct sales, they have what's called a passive savings or you're a passive consumer. So you take average sell bill in America, it's 71 bucks. And you come out with a value proposition of $49 for effectively the same service that the average person is getting for 71. That difference is, what, 22 bucks? Yeah. Savings. What do you have to do to get that $22 as a rep in a standard company that you're in a, in a, a passive consumption model? What do you have to do to get that 20, 22 bucks every month? You switch. You switch. You switch one time, and then you save that $22 every month, thereafter. Every month right? So... By all intents and purposes, is $22 a lot of money? No. no. Over time, it is. I mean, in reality, it's not a lot of money, but over time, it's savings, mm -hmm. right? So if I get effectively the same value, but I'm paying $22 less, and I don't have to do anything for it, that's a passive consumption model. But the net net result is they're saving $22. <clears throat> Wake Up Now does not have a passive consumption model. We have an active consumption model, which means we have to participate in our savings. So I want to walk you through four deals that I've done since I've joined. Now, I joined December 17th. It's today now March 14th. 14th. So I have been in, in three days, I will have been in 90 days, okay? So I don't have a huge track record, but let me just share with you some of the deals that stand out in my mind in an active consumption model. 
the very first deal I did with Wake Up Now was my wife asked me to order six She asked me to order pizzas for my son's football player buddies that were coming over to our house. How much are you going to spend on six pizzas at Domino's? 30 bucks. No. That's oh, easy. No. Oh. About 60 bucks. About 10 bucks okay, a pizza. Right? Pizzas at no, that's that's uh, Little Caesars. Oh, my bad. That's the, that's the melted cardboard. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, six pizzas. So, I was going to spend about 60 bucks. I was going to buy those pizzas regardless. My wife had requested. I had football players at my house. They were ready to eat pizzas, and I needed to get those. So instead of just going to dominoes.com, I went to the hub, went to locals, typed in restaurants, and up came like 1,700 pizza deal, or not pizza deals, but um, restaurant deals, within a 40 or 50 mile radius from my home. The Domino's that was four miles from my home was having a buy one, get one free pizza for up to three pizzas. So I bought three pizzas. Six were delivered to my house. I saved 27 bucks. So in one transaction that literally took me four minutes, I saved $27, which is a positive $5 over what I would have saved in a passive consumption model on a different product. Second, Valentine's Day, I went to 1-800-Flowers.com to buy flowers for my wife for Valentine's Day. I went on and I researched and I picked out one. It was $159. $159. was $149 because they were offering a $10 discount on that item. So my price would have been $149. I then went to the hub. And guess who is on the hub as one of our vendors? 100 flowers. flowers. I got the identical picture, same exact flower arrangement, and I spent $79 through the hub. So I saved 70 bucks. So flowers, same exact ones that were on the online, I saved $70. So $70 discount, I'm now at $75 versus, and I'm now seven, eight minutes into my active consumption. <clears throat> Third transaction, I needed, my wife, we just moved into a house, and my wife said, we're out of paper for the home office. We need paper. So I went to the hub. I, I mean, I'm trained myself just to go to the hub, because it takes, it takes literally two minutes to type it in. Went on Office Supplies, up comes Office Max, and Office Max had a coupon for buy one, get one free case of paper. So I had to go get paper anyway because we had no way to print out anything at the house. So part number one is I put in my tax bot and started a trip, right? Hit trip start in tax bot. Drove to Office Max, gave him my coupon, carried two... Actually, I didn't have paper to print it on, so I used the back of an old sheet, so it had stuff on one side, right? Didn't matter. But I went to Office Max and bought my one case of paper, but I walked out with two. 27 bucks was the cost of the case of paper. So in an aggregate total of, let's round up to 15 minutes of my time, I saved another on paper, 27 bucks. So now I am... What is it? Is that right? Yeah. One or two. I'm $102. That's money in my account that otherwise would have been in the store's accounts for a grand total of 15 minutes of my time. Well, times four, that's a hundred and that's four hundred and eight dollars an hour. Any of you currently work a job that you make four hundred and eight dollars an hour? Brother Kemp, come on in, buddy. How are you, everybody? Daryl Kemp from Seattle. Daryl, here, have a seat right here, buddy. We're just gonna, we'll, we'll circle back to you after I'm done with this topic. 
So in three transactions, I've made $408 an hour. Because I'm an active consumer and actively participating in my savings. No matter what you do here, you're not going to convince them to give you less or, or more of a discount, right? It's just, it's a passive consumption model. And that's the high and the low end of what the average person is going to save. Here, if I wanted to be even more active in my savings process, could I have increased that number to more than $408 in an hour? Sure. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. These are just specific examples. My biggest score to date, many have seen it on the presentation that I did, the, the online uh, webinar that I recorded, it shows that I went on to buy suits. Jose, jo, Jose, <laughs> Jose, <laughs> Jose Banks. Uh, Jose Banks comes up, and it was buy one suit, get three suits for free. On the hub? On the hub. I went to Jose Bank outside, because see, I was still trying to figure out, wait a second, are they just forwarding me some other deal like that Jose Bank is already offering? When I went on Jose Bank, they're the king of crazy deals, right? You know, and they just got bought for, what, $1.8 billion by Men's Warehouse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's because Men's Warehouse, even though they have more stores, the, the revenue per store was slightly higher, even though they were doing these crazy discounts at Jose Bank. Men's Warehouse has totally shifted to that model. Do we get, still get the discounts with Men's Warehouse? No. I don't know, because I don't think they're going to bifurcate. I think they're going to keep the brands bifurcated. I don't know if they're going to actually absorb them all into Men's Warehouse. Remains to be seen point with that is, is buy one suit, get three suits free. I went to Jose Bank's website to sign, and they had some crazy deals. It was buy one suit, get 37 articles at half price, and the last one for free. I mean, it was some ridiculous thing, right? I don't even remember what it was, but it was crazy because they're the kings of crazy deals. But I could not for the life of me find the buy one suit, get three suits for free. Went back in, posted the link on the website, right, on my Facebook page. I shared it. It automatically went to my Facebook page. Um, and I know of two other people that bought... There was no cash back on that deal, unfortunately, because I know two other people that bought that same package off of my link. Just from people instant messaging me going, that was an awesome deal, thanks for sharing that. One was a Wake Up Now member, one was not. So there's an example of how populating your deals that you're finding online can in turn generate an extra revenue stream. But I saved over $1,000 in one transaction. So on suits, you can see the difference between an active consumption model. I control how much savings I want. Now, I didn't even mention the value of the tax bot. Remember when I drove to Office Max? I mean, we're talking 30 miles, no, 18, over 30 miles round trip. But because I started a trip, because I was going to buy paper for my home office, I was getting office supplies right on tax bot. Right on tax bot, it has a category that says office supplies. So when you go into TaxBot and you add an expense and you fill that out and you can attach a receipt, but it'll ask you what category that you want to put that in, you just click office supplies. That's a right. legitimately write offable, if that's a phrase, that's a legitimately write offable um, item. item, expense category. So. So that whole trip, buying paper, not only did I save the money on the paper, or get an extra case of paper and not have to pay for it, but I got to write off the entire trip at 57 cents a mile, 56 and a half cents a mile, because it was a legitimate business trip. Even though I was running over there, I grabbed a Jamba Juice next door, grabbed a gallon of milk, all just on foot, you know, walk to the, I'm walking, getting that stuff, and then I drive home. But the whole trip was a write off. That is not available to me in a passive consumption model. At least not included. If I wanted that, I'd have to go out and pay an extra $29 on an a la carte for tax bot in order to track my expenses in order in this model to be able to get that same value. Well, that's included in our subscription price, up to $100. So for no additional expenses, you get that entire program. And as of today, I have not added this trip which this trip, all in, I mean, this is a $1,500 trip. So if I were to add, right now I'm at 10, 6, 4, 5. So I'm around 12000 and change in write-offs. I'm averaging about $5,000 a month. 
this year so far in write-offs. Now that's money at the end, that's called managed savings. Because at the end of the year, that's either money that the government's giving me back, a portion of that, or money I'm not having to write to the government. Either way, it's money in my pocket at the end of the year. So don't discount using your tools. Which segues us into become a product of the product. We were talking about an example yesterday where one of his team called him and said, hey, I'm coming up on my second payment of 100 bucks, and I've only gotten two people, so it's not... He hadn't gotten anybody. Oh, I thought it was he'd gotten two, but... No. So, so he hadn't gotten anybody, so he's like, hey, I'm coming up on that second payment, so it's not free for me yet, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and drop. And your response was, I you're love using it. the hub. Yeah, you're not even using the products. Have you gone in? Have you downloaded TaxBot on your phone? <laughs> Have you dived into the hub to look for any of the deals? I mean, that's what's comical. Price is only an issue in the absence of value. Price is only an issue in the absence of value. Great quote. Um, because we are active consumers, you couldn't pry the 100 bucks membership away from me. There's, because of the value in that 100 bucks that I get for that 100 bucks, I would not give that, even if I wasn't building a business. Why? Because I'm a product of the product. Because I'm using it. So this, which segues into this last segment I want to talk about on this value proposition, is becoming a product of the product. So I want to know, I want to know your best experiences, individually, not everyone, just if you want to share, what's your best experiences that you've had with a single product that's available in the, the platinum package? My wife and I love to go to movies, okay? So I thought, okay, I'm going to the hub to check it. And it's uh, Cinemark. They're 11, 12, 15, 20 bucks a movie. It was 750 for a movie, anytime. This is not a, not a um, matinee price. So there you go. And you can buy them in bulk, I think. So you just buy a bunch and then just have them to use. Yeah, so, I, so, cool. just so I went on and that same thing. Mine was, uh, not, mine was Regal. And with Regal, they're the brand new theater right by my house is a Regal. And it's $11 a ticket. And there, at Regal, through the hub, it's 30% off if you buy a minimum of five tickets. That's what it was. It was 30%. Was yeah, so, so, so yeah, it was about seven. Yeah, you're right. Exactly. Right there, 750 A ticket, 30% off, but you had to buy five tickets. So I have five kids at home, plus my wife and I, so going to a movie, there's seven tickets. So it was a non-issue for me. But if it's just you and your spouse or you and a date, I mean, buy six tickets... And you've got go three date, you got three movie nights, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's. <laughs> I'd, say the, I'd say the financial software. Yeah. I, I think uh, I, I, I'm just telling you, if anybody will actually use the financial software, there is no way if you're actually using it that you'll be able to stop paying for the membership. Because um, I mean, the way it categorizes, there's personal, there's business. It's changed our spending habits already. We're, we were way overspending on a lot of things. It calculates literally the amount of interest you have to pay every month if you're not paying your credit cards off in full. Um, you can set up a budget. But I'm just telling you, there is no way. I was in financial services for 10 years. I know how much software costs. I know what you have to do. Honestly, it's the main thing I talk about because I know if I could get every single one of my members to actually engage in that, that they would have to literally give up on having their financial goals hit to cancel their membership. That's the bottom line. I love that. You do me a favor. Come up here because I want you to be in front of the camera when you talk of this story. Sure. <laughs> I don't want you to just be a voice off to the side. But uh, everybody, this is Brian, and he has a specific example about that I'd like him to share with the group. Oh, yeah. Uh, talk about one finance. Um, value proposition alone, that program normally through other companies would cost $3,500. Wow. And in order to get on the uh, a web or cloud-based it's like $15 a month, and uh, I did it. I, I bought that program probably five, six years ago, and uh, truly it's amazing. If you guys are looking at ways to reduce your debt and own your home faster, um, it works. But when I took a look at the software that these guys have, with a push of a button, uh, it calculates it. It just brings all the information in. And so if you like looking at stats and see where you're at with your finances, this truly helps you to adapt to your spending. Um, me personally, I'll probably save about $130,000 in interest alone with this software. So my home, which was uh, probably 30 years, will be paid off within eight. 
Nice. So, okay. And that's just one of them. That's just one of them. I appreciate that, Ryan. So when someone comes to you and says, is there value for the 100 bucks?" Those are just two products. One, I save 30% of my movie tickets because I like saving money and I'm going to do movies anyway. This one, I'm diving in and I'm going to tie in. When I went in and set up mine, I set up mine because you guys did. Yeah. I followed your lead. I hadn't set my and financial software. It takes software. time. It I, did. It took me the, two the, and a half hours. The key hours. today is active versus passive. So if we know that, then let's recruit to the active. Let, don't, don't mislead people. Tell them right up front. Listen, if you're coming here thinking you're just going to sit on your couch at home and have passive savings, then there's no reason for any further discussion. If people know up front that it is an active consumption model, number one, we'll recruit the right people. We'll attract the ones we really want, and we'll have a sustainable business because they're not going to quit the minute that the savings that just flow into their checking account without doing anything. And that is a, a, a big thing, and that's what we're here to talk about today is just, you know, if you want real results and you want a real income, then build a real business. And you don't do that by just trying to get people to sign up. You get it by telling people what you're about and trusting there's enough people in the world that actually will go, oh, I, yeah, I like that. I'm, I'm willing to be active. Okay, I'm in. See what I'm saying? Yeah, that gave me goosebumps. I had not set up my financial software until I saw him post in the Facebook group. Actually, it was you that posted, hey, Ryan and I set up our financial software today. And I'm like, they got to it before me. <laughs> so I immediately, the it, next it's day, really impressive. I went in. We really need to do it. I, absolutely. Because I was. I, one of the things it does is it tells you where you're spending your money. And just being aware, I'm like, and it pulls it in automatically. It tracks your debit card swipes at the grocery store and at the gas station, and it tells you. You, you need to hear this. She, she's going to pull it up. I want you to just hear how much money we spent on food the first month we tracked it. I mean, because, you know, you did, it's just so easy. you just eating out here. You grab this. You go to the restaurant. You this. And then you're still buying all the same groceries. You just don't end up eating them, and you stock up too much, and then stuff goes bad, and then you throw it out. I mean, I wanted to tell you exactly. I don't, I don't want to over-exaggerate or whatever, but I'm just telling you, it was like, whoa. Well, guess what? I'm just telling you, immediately, there's been a change. Immediately. I mean, probably this month alone, we'll probably cut 100 200 300 bucks just because we're aware of it. Mm -hmm. You can't become aware of that without a tool. Right. How much? $950. What? <gasps> and you have how many kids? Three kids. Three kids, and their oldest is? Eight. Which they don't eat a lot. Right, so no, I mean, I mean, I have six, and I have five teenagers. Right, <laughs> so my kids were at twelve hundred dollars a month, and it didn't shock us how much we were spending. But what where we got shocked? How much I'm spending on when I pull up to the gas station, and my kids run in and grab a bag of chips, a, a pop for two dollars, uh, a Gatorade for three twenty nine. I mean, the amount of money we're spending on that kind of crap. I was like, no, done. <laughs> that is not like a free-for-all. I mean, just it's everything. I mean, my son plays competitive baseball. It's like a freaking country club sport, you know? We're, we have a category for that. I mean, we realize we're just, we're just saying yes to everything, you know, because for the most part, until recently, we've, just, we've been able to. We have access. And, you know, it's really hitting home because I, I, I thought about this. I'm like, you know, if the software was given to us for free, guess what? We wouldn't use it. There's nothing wrong in paying for something. In, in fact, paying for it is actually what activates us to, yeah. to do something with it. So it ought to cost a membership fee to have access to some of this stuff. Because if they just handed it over to you, let's all be honest, we're There's human no beings. Value. There's no value. We wouldn't do anything with it. We'd get nothing out of it. And we would just continue in the same habitual things that we're already doing. So hopefully you're gathering. We've only talked about two different products. TaxBot, to me... Is probably the most valuable as far as net value to my dollars in my house based on my personality because I I have a, a, a personality where I will put it off I have a bit of a procrastinator personality because I know I can always get to it well at the end of the year I had a box of receipts <laughs> when I even remembered to keep them right <laughs> and then I would take them into my account and my account's like oh. <laughs> Because I was expecting him to recreate my year. In mm -hmm. mind, he looks at it and goes, no, I don't want to look at it. You're going to get these, you know. He doesn't, yeah, yeah, he, he wants you to do that. Exactly. And so he'll charge, you, but he'll charge you hourly to go through your receipts. It costs you an extra $900 to do your taxes because you got to go around and sort your year out from day one by organizing your receipts by date, then by category. 
They don't want to do that. If they do, they're going to charge you for it. I heard a guy say one time, Rob, the only shortcut in life is doing it right the first time. And that's what tax fund is. It's a yep. shortcut. It's taking the 30 seconds right then. So I don't have to take the 37,000 hours oh, at the end of the year. Which he doesn't take those hours. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Right. so, so, I'm still so, sorting a box through the last two weeks while I'm watching TV, sorting receipts, and I'm like, was this a business meal? Yeah, exactly. Was it? So, this trip, because I have that procrastinator mentality and I didn't use the tax, just this trip. So, I've never saved, I've never been a receipt saver. So, these are the receipts from this particular trip because I know I have to go back in and put them in the tax spot, but. This is the first time that I have saved a receipt and not done it immediately. Because then you just take the picture, you check the receipt, you're done. That's true. That's why I'm at 10-6. But this trip has been so busy. How long does it take? 30 seconds to input it in the tax spot? But even that, I've procrastinated. <laughs> but I've kept the receipts because I know I'm going to put them in. But I think if you do it, I think what I'm trying, trying to get myself to do is get to about two or three months in a row where I basically make it a daily habit. Because eventually then it, you won't even think about it. I mean, like you'll just do it almost without thinking. You'll, you'll order, and you'll do it while you're waiting for the order. You know what I'm saying? Like It's just like anything else. We're just not used to doing it, and I think it really takes a good two or three months of repeating it over and over and over and over again. And see, this is what's so valuable about this is that belief drives everything. And so how am I going to have any belief if I'm not... If I don't believe in the value proposition, how am I going to believe in the value proposition if I'm not using it? See, you you don't have to actually recruit anybody your first three months. You need to set up your financial software and your tax spot. And I promise you in three months you'll start recruiting people because you'll actually want to tell somebody about it. <laughs> the reason people don't want to tell anything about it is because they don't even know what it is and they're in. And they're just, they think they're wasting 100 bucks a month. <clears throat> so, tax spot, to me, the most valuable asset we have. To Brian... To Ryan, I like it, but to me, if I had to choose, I would take TaxBot because of how I use it and the importance it is to me. They would take the financial management software. Great. We're, we're all cut from different cloths. We have seven products included in the Platinum program. Yeah. We haven't even talked to Vacation Club. The Vacation Club is worth so much more. When you're talking, you pay $3,500 for software for the, for the software management in a previous company and $15 a month to host your monthly cloud. How many, how many of you have bought a timeshare or know someone who's bought a timeshare and has to pay not only annual fees but also monthly dues? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, it's a $90 one time. Right, it's up there. Oklahoma City to Las Vegas. OKC to Las Vegas. Flew out on a Sunday, came home on a Wednesday. Sun. Husband and wife couple, he owns a limo company. This just happened. This is real stuff, and I, I know the numbers exactly. He booked the airlines through Southwest. They stayed at the Hooters Hotel on the Strip Mall. Him and his wife. On the Strip Mall. On the Strip. On the Strip. <laughs> Sorry, anyway. That's all right. I stayed at Strip Mall. So before, two so round trip home. tickets from Oklahoma City to Vegas and she three nights hotel. Trip. Okay, you guys are from Vegas. The yeah. whole thing for the hotel and the flight, $762 for two people. That's it. Is that legit? Yeah. That's legit. I'm That's telling. great. That's, so in one trip, he saved at least $500. I mean, I went online, I looked up, it's like 149 is the lowest rate I could find anywhere for Hooters on any night. And most round trip flights, if you got a good one on the Southwest, was at least $300 minimum. So three nights at $450 plus some tax, round up to $500. That's five hundred dollars plus. Let's say you got six hundred. That's eleven hundred dollars. So worst case scenario, He's he saved safe. over three hundred bucks, and that's like the best case. I mean, you got the lowest flight, you stayed at the lowest rate. Sure. You know what I mean? More probably four or five hundred dollars one trip. So you've got companies out there like World Ventures mm -hmm. who charge, and they built an entire direct sales company around travel, and that's included in our program. It's a ninety dollar one time fee to participate. But I bought that, signed up for that, and in the mail, those of you that haven't, I got my, because I knew I was going to use it, I used my hotel card that showed up, right? That gave me 10% off my room rate. I just handed her the card, and she gave me 10% off my room rate because I had a card. So she didn't even look anything up. She, I don't know if she recognized Wake Up Now or what, but she just, I said, look, I'm part of a, a hotel program. I get discounts at this chain. And she pulled, she typed in, she gave me a 10% off. Your, there is so much value in the 100 bucks, all it comes down to is gaining a testimony or a belief level 
in those. And the only way to do that is to invest the time, the two hours it takes to set up your financial software. Pay the 90 bucks for your vacation club and you'll see the deals. There was a deal that came across the other day for 120 bucks. Now you had to book it within like 12 days. You had, to, you had to book the thing within 12 days and go within 60 days, right? Check-in date was within 60 days and you had to book it within 12. But it was 120 bucks for an entire week in Mexico. That was all seven nights. And it was a four-star resort. So if, if you like to travel, if you like to shop, I haven't even talked about the groceries. How about identity theft protection? It's free, including the membership. In the platform, right. it's free. It's you buy the others, you have to willing to take the Rob, time to actually is that, download that $89, is that a yearly fee? Or on is that one, one, one time one for the travel? One time for life. One time for, one one, time for $90 life. $90 one time for life. Okay. Because yes. I've already paid for that. I was originally in Wake Up Now with Chris Dowry uh, about nine months ago and never got active with it. Stopped paying for it. Then when Ed called me and said, hey, get into this. You were past your six-month time frame and you were able to switch over correctly through the policy. Right. So I, I repaid the... The hundred dollars to you know to reactivate it coming under you guys. Yeah, you uh, have, have to pay that hundred dollars again. But I don't have to pay the ninety dollars over again for the. Oh, you know, you already asked. No, I, I, I'm just wondering. That's what I my question is. Would I yeah. will I have to the, repay we, for that? We'll figure out the right C level executive to ask that question because I don't know that answer. Yeah, my okay. my speculation would be you'd have to pay it again. Yes. Um, this I I was speaking of the uh, at the identity theft. I did that on my computer two days ago, and you get not only identity theft like LifeLock, but once a year, they will scan your computer and uh, make sure it's clean for free and take care of you. Um, I found out, I hadn't done it in a long time, so this is going to be embarrassing. I had over 900... Um, what a computer point work. Spy, I mean, it was, uh, yeah, spyware, trojans, all the other stuff in my computer. Viruses? And viruses and stuff. They cleaned it all off. The computer, I have a really old one, but that doesn't matter. But the fact is, they were very nice. They, he takes control of it, goes through, does a scan for you, and it takes care of you. Awesome. So there's a, there's Did he try to upsell you on anything while he was doing Not that? a bit. They were no. kind. They were just, he was like, hey, let me take care of this. There was a little <laughs> issue, and he says, let me go back in and do it again. He did it again. We found out there was a little issue with uh, with some hard hardware, um, and it was done. I fixed that because I do the hardware, the software, the stuff. I don't. I did the same so, thing. And as a matter of fact, he says, "Well, this is going to take about thirty minutes." I says, well, "I got a meeting. Back. Meeting yeah. I got to go to." He says, "Go ahead and do it. When you get back, I'll send you an email and tell you what is up." And I got back, and it, nothing there. He said, and he contacted me and followed up. Love Beautiful. Yeah. So we just touched yeah. on, literally on the surface of the value. We haven't even touched the other, the tell me more, to learn a language, the newsstand with your free physical magazine subscriptions. I mean, someone says, is there value there? Don't even talk to me about it. <laughs> there is, if you don't see the value, then you're probably not someone I want on my team. Because if I have to hold your hand to explain to you, now granted, I'll do it once. I'll explain to you the first time so you learn. But if you've been in two months and you're having a problem with the value, that's on you. Makes sense? So hopefully you gained some pearls of wisdom out of that. There's some nuggets in there that I think that might help you present or help you at least understand or raise your own belief level or at least shook your tree and said, i got to go home and set up my stuff, right? Well, I hear a question. Like, that's so valuable. Why is there nothing that really speaks to that? Why is there no two-minute video that basically does what you just did for us for but there, there's there is a bunch of videos. Like that. So we'll we'll so we'll do it a takeaway. Can you write a note as far as takeaway for us? <coughs> we'll go ahead and research what I think there could be more. There, I think there could be more. Well and I think we can create one as a team. There's no issue. Yeah. We're happy to create one. Yeah, but I think a professional probably. one from the company. Yeah. That would be something we can say, hey look, this is what we lack. These guys are ears wide open. When we were in Jason Elrod's office and he said, Hey, we don't come from the network marketing world, he's right. They don't. But right. they're willing to listen, and that's what makes them different. Well, you know what just hit me? Okay, every vitamin nutritional company, 
It's an active. If you're not taking those vitamins, you're not working out, you're not right. drinking that shake, I mean, right. you're not going to be getting the results. I mean, I'm sorry, but even, it might be a very small amount, but even nearing, you got to put that freaking cream on all the time, right? I mean, if you're rushing around in the morning, if you're not, so I'm just saying, there's very little that you just, I mean, what do you get of value to do nothing? Everything's active. I mean, this is really speaking to me, you know what I mean? Like this, it, we're, we're, we're an active business. We're active everything for the consumer, the business model, making money, saving money, managing money. I mean, what do people think they're supposed to get for doing nothing? You get nothing. That's a great <laughs> point. That's a great point. Now, uh, to stay on time, I'm five minutes over. Our little trip back there to Elrod's office took us a little bit off our I'll calendar. But we're going to shift over to Ryan, and he's going to be um, covering prospecting and recruiting. Cool. Hold on.